Hi guys, it's Kiara Cook here, and I am here with a Create a Sim video. I'm actually very nervous about this video just because it's a new type of video that I've never done on my channel before. Um, I've talked about doing Create a Sim videos in the past, and I know some of you have requested some. Um, so I hope you guys like this, I hope it's enjoyable, um, and yeah. Um, part of this video is just me showing off, off like all my custom content for Create a Sim, as I've talked about before. I'm very proud of my custom content collection. Um, I've been building it for a number of years, uh, as you can probably tell, there's some pretty old pieces of custom content on here actually. Um, and yeah, so this character I end up naming uh, Olivia Martin, and an interesting thing about her um, is that I actually built her apartment before I made her, um, and her apartment will be coming out tomorrow. Um, so you can see that <laughs> they're just kind of connected in that way. Um, but for any future Create a Sim videos I do, I will be creating the Sim first and then the build, because that makes more sense to me to make the build based on who the character is. Um, but this one was just like a weird backwards version of that. Um, but her apartment ends up being this really cool, like, I don't know how to explain it, like a modern Victorian gothic-y kind of vibe, and I had this idea for this character who, um, appears to be like very uh, feminine and soft and flowery and stuff, but she also has like really cool tattoos and is kind of like, um, kind of really badass in a way. So that is who this character is. She's not based on anyone in real life. Olivia Martin is just a name that I came up with because I thought it sounded nice. Um, and yeah, so here I am just trying to choose a hair for her at this point. I didn't know what hair I wanted because for me, hair is kind of like a very defining um, characteristic when I'm putting my sins together. So I always sample like a lot of different ones before I, I like settle on a final one just because there's so many different uh, tones I could go with. I end up going with this soft, like um, these soft, uh, what's it called, blonde bangs. Um, I thought this made her face look so cute and she just looks so pretty. I don't know, I just really liked this hairstyle on her, especially in this color. It's almost like a, a rose gold kind of color on her. Um, but here I am just going through all the categories, putting on eyelashes on her and uh, just taking off any other accessories she has in the other categories. But here we are for her everyday look. So I end up kind of, okay, let me explain this. I make one look for her and then it just, I wasn't feeling the vibe, so I ended up deleting that look and then creating a different look. So this first look that you'll see on her is not um, what we end up going with. So I choose this like flowery sweater, which I really do like. I think it's a very nice sweater. Um, and then I pair it with like a skirt, and I think it, the look itself is very nice, and I do like it, but I just don't feel like it was um, exactly what I was going for for this character, so just end up scrapping it. I don't know what about it I didn't like, it just wasn't... It wasn't, uh, I didn't feel the badassness enough, and I wanted to see her tattoos, and I didn't really like this look because they covered all her tattoos up. Um, so this look gets scrapped in just a minute. I'm sorry that we spent so much time looking at it, but at least this way you can get a, a sense of all my custom content and you can look at what I have. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here I'm just putting on some accessories. I thought about putting on some rings and a bag and stuff like that. Um, putting on some socks and some shoes. You can see I have a really cool shoe collection. I wish this was like my clothes collection in real life. Unfortunately, it's not, but you know, I live vicariously through The Sims. I think we all know that by now. Um, yeah, anyways, I really like these boots on her though. These boots become like a central thing um, and we'll get back to those in a second. So that first outfit we end up deleting actually. So what we end up doing in this um, section is we give her this really nice blue dress you'll see in a minute. Um, and that kind of leads to how I define the rest of her characters based on this blue dress, which we don't see yet. <laughs> so let's wait. Yeah, this blue dress. I really like it. I think it's it's like the right amount of, of uh, flowery, but also really like kind of punky, kind of gothic-y. Um, so I really like that dress. So that becomes her first outfit. So we delete the first outfit and then we come up with the second outfit here, which is this white dress, which I also thought looked really nice. So we have the blue dress and the white dress, and those are her two um, main daytime outfits. And then I kind of come up with this third outfit that has like a shirt and some pants, and I don't remember if I end up deleting that or not. But for now, we're gonna move on to her formal wear. I chose this black dress, which I, again, I thought was kind of gothic-y, but also kind of very feminine and flowery, just the shape of it. I really like that dress. And then for her um, athletic wear, I kind of half-assed it, to be honest. I don't usually put a lot of effort into athletic wear for my Sims, just because gameplay-wise, I'm just someone who doesn't use the athletic things a lot. And then for her sleepwear, we go with something a little bit sexy. It's this top, and then we go with um, 
like these um this kind of thong thing i thought that was really pretty in that green shade um so it's a little sexy for bed but you know i thought it was nice and then here we for what am i saying her party wear here um i thought about this yellow dress i ended up going with a different yellow dress which is like the same pattern but in this wonderful shape i love this dress it's basically like the, the strawberry dress from real life if you guys know what i'm talking about um but they just you know recolored it um and then for her party wear went with or like a number two outfit for party wear i put on that purple dress Oh my god, this is going by so fast. Um, but you know, you can pause and take a look at the looks if you're more curious about what it looks like. Um, and then this is her, uh, what is it? Hot day outfit? What do you call this category? Hot weather outfit, I guess? I just went with this short white baby doll dress. And then for her winter outfit, I just went with, I honestly don't remember what I go with for a winter outfit. I guess it's just this, like the green plaid um, jacket. Um, or not, no? What do I do? I don't remember. <laughs> we'll find out together. Um, let's see. Oh, I go with this, um, like, turtleneck with these really pretty balloon sleeves, and then I put it with this, like, silk skirt. This would probably be pretty cold, honestly, if it was, like, snowing or something, but I, I see this more as, like, an outfit she'd wear inside the house to stay warm and not necessarily, like, a walking through the snow kind of outfit. Um, so, yeah, I thought this was really pretty. I like the skirt a lot, especially the texture of it. These custom content creators are amazing, as always. They just deliver so much cool content. So I have this idea that she's a writer, she's a genius and creative, and then for her third trait, I made her proper, because I thought that maybe she was raised in a very rich society or something, and she's kind of has that kind of vibe to her, I guess. Um, and yeah, here's a screenshot of her and a sneak, pe a sneak peek of what her apartment looks like, and you guys will see that tomorrow. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this kind of video and I'll see you next time.